Hey guys, we're back again with another project on the LX. If you have missed it, check out my series on my custom made bumper I made. Uh, right now, next on the agenda is wrap the car. We're gonna wrap it with Vivid's uh, metallic, matte metallic army green most of it and on the top the mirrors is gonna get a matte black treatment. I will do a bits and pieces of matte black on the interior as well. So that's gonna be part of the whole black project. Um, yeah so stick around and come along with for the journey. So this video I'm not exactly trying to show you how to vinyl wrap. Um, trying to show you my journey vinyl wrapping a vehicle like this uh, just to help out other owners who have similar vehicles on the little ins and outs of how to take things apart and what to look for in, um, in, a, in a situation like this. Hope this uh, helps you guys out. So the first thing I'm starting with is the roof and that's going to be matte black. I uh, went ahead and removed these pieces, these end pieces on the roof rack and uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove the two bolts on either side that house, uh, that hold it down. Then I'm going to go ahead and remove all the trim pieces from the middle because I would like I would like to tuck the vinyl wrap in and then put the trim piece on top that would make, give it a, a better finish and it will uh, have a less of a chance of the wrap peeling off uh, I've also removed the trim piece that goes here and this was a bit of a pain because these things held on way too tight so the trick was is to remove it from the top off of these two clips first and then have a, a really pointy tool that goes in and lifts this edge forward in that direction and that would help this trim piece come off and I will be cleaning that with some isopropyl alcohol just finished wrapping the rear quarter panel along with the door, top of the door sill. I did it all in one piece because it's, it's one continuous piece from down here all the way to the back, all the way around. Uh, to show you the prep required for this, as I remove the headlights, I loosened up the bumper off the bottom. I loosened the roof rack. I've also took off the mirror from this side just for lower impedance and I cleaned up everything with isopropyl alcohol. Luckily I've had a lot of that stuff because it's hard to come by right now uh, and I had left over from wrapping the mini.
been a lot of hard work, a lot of taking things apart and putting them back together. Uh, the rack is complete. I'll uh, give you guys a quick walk around and show you the car in a, an indoor low light environment versus an outdoor sunny environment because it feels like this color takes on two different personalities when and it's in those two different uh, light situations. I am very happy with the way it turned out. Uh, the color looks real nice. Uh, it has a stealth aspect to it, yet it has a little uh, shiny bright spots depending on which angle the light hits it and it makes it look very, very unique on the road. Uh, like I said, I did the roof and the mirrors in black. I will show you the side steps in a bit, but that was, uh, they were also done in black and I'll tell you what it's a little bit more. Walking around the vehicle. Depending on how the light hits this thing, certain panels look like they don't belong together, but as soon as you walk by, they start blending in with each other. Uh, as far as the side steps go, I decided to do the lower half in black to mimic the appearance of sliders and give the vehicle a more lifted look from the side because it makes the uh, the line of the vehicle at the bottom look a little bit higher when the side steps are done in black. So I thought that was a cool touch and it looked pretty good. Uh, I had done the handles and sat in black before so I chose to, to keep them that way, didn't want to deal with the handles. Uh, the mirror is matte black, as well as the roof. Again, I did the tail light surrounds in black as well. The emblems I plasti dipped because there would be a nightmare to wrap. So here are some outdoor shots. At the time of filming this, the weather was overcast as you can see. And it still doesn't fully show the reflection of the sun on the uh, wrap when it hits it. So, but I'm still very happy with it nonetheless. I've also went ahead and wrapped the wood grain panels that were on the dash with matte black. Um, that one was broken before, beforehand, so I just tried to fix it as best as possible and wrap over it. I have not gotten to this yet. This will be a project for a later time. And of course, I'm not going to wrap the steering wheel because that is extremely hard to do so we'll leave that alone as it is well there you have it folks that's all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed my journey through the wrap. Uh, let me down in the comments whether what you think about what I did with it and also if you have any suggestions on what my next project should be, please let me know down in the comments. And if uh, you feeling generous, please hit a like and subscribe to my channel because I would like to see it grow a little bit more in the future. Thank you.